everybody welcome back to black diamond farms if you're new here i'd like if you hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button but if you don't that's okay but stay tuned and watch and see what we're going to get done today my name is josh well we got something a little different back here today so as we're driving back home we have a load of sawdust in that dump trailer uh it's something a little different we don't usually use sawdust for our bedding we use uh dried dust from the farm uh, off the mill but they're running a little short. Uh, I don't want to short our, change ourselves. We still have some, but I don't want to use it all up and not have a backup plan, of course. But so there's sawdust in here. Uh, so that's where we're getting that haul back to the farm right now. We've got a few loads of this. Uh, it's going to work out really well. Uh, we got a makeshift tarp on there. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good, but. Uh, not being biased at all you know but let's get this home get it dumped so we can get back down there and get another load so in front of us here is our neighbor up the road a little bit they have a dairy farm uh, they're out spreading liquid manure with this this is a tank they actually built themselves i believe it's full stainless uh, and they put a heck of a light bar system on the back back here uh, to be seen so that's they did a really nice job with this uh, build they built here uh, turned out look really nice and like I said that's a heck of a nice set of four-way flashers on the back there to be seen so I say our tarp did a pretty darn good job it doesn't look the best but it kept most of that sawdust in there the other side isn't as perfect but yeah it's okay you know you can't always have it perfect but it did an all right job I, no complaints So there's load one. So what we'll do is take the tractor. <clears throat> Better come this way and look at it. They can't really see. There you go. We'll take this and push it clear back in there against that wall there. So when it's all said and done, we'll have it all piled back there in the back corner and we'll clean all the sides up here too. But for now, we've got more loads to go get, so we're not gonna clean it all up. And they got a little bit in there, just gonna let them start trying it out. That's two loads, plus all this, so we gotta clean up on the edges, but not doing that till we're done. Uh, so hopefully, wanted to kind of keep some of this stuff in here so that way we could uh keep the wind from blowing in underneath it seems like it's going to do a nice job trying to keep away so that way we can still walk over here and potentially park the tractor in here but uh the next pile will probably get us out to here so there's not gonna be a lot of tractor parking room from here to there but we'll make it work we gotta finish getting this tarp off this homemade jerry rig tarp <clears throat> but i can tell you this much it worked pretty good because it kept most of the sawdust in there. We just kind of have a little bit of everything holding it down. And as you can see, some pretty nice stuff. We got some bigger chunks in this load, like these, but that's okay. It'll all mix in real good and make a good dry bed pack. Take this tire off. And then 
these bungees. We want to do the bungees. That's just kind of helping hold that uh, two by up there. Give me two hands for this one. There we go. Now we have that done. We will just start to. Ooh, kind of hard to do one handed. Anyways, we're going to roll this tarp. Try to get, and you see that's kind of, this stuff kind of is a spill job, but there's a little bit of gunk in it, but we can make do with, with that, I can tell you that. But you lose a little bit here in the front. time I think watch you go up on that end and you see the gates open do it different this time try to get it back in a little further take the bed up all the way she's up all the way So we got some sawdust in here now. Got all of our stuff. It's actually fairly organized. Fencing stuff is all over here. And we got some straw and some hay there. Our grain bin. And this is about seven foot tall-ish, give or take. So clear out the front here. This should last us quite a while. I feel pretty good about it. I mean, I don't know, I wish I could have kept it over this way a little bit, but we'll use up the edge here first. Uh, but thank you very much, Joe. Thank you very much. Well, time to get another bale, feed the cows. Uh, these are, I believe, yep, still, these are all first cutting. Clear over, somewhere over there. And those are second cutting, and ones down the front are second cutting. And then that's a second cutting of a field, third cutting, some second cutting, some third cutting. There's some over by the barn. See a white top over there. That's second cutting too. But uh, we're gonna get this cut open. So basically, we just cut the end off here so that way this makes it easier. We'll see how this is where this was taped at. And a little bit of little bit of spoilage there, but not much. Not very much. 
Yeah, these are spots that we wanted to try to avoid. You can see some of this got a little oxygen. The cows, it, this is, get underneath it, it's perfectly fine. up here pretty short order too these are just some smaller ones that field's always made really good high quality hay make them a little bit smaller that's the only thing cows are all cows are fed well, at least they're hay anyways uh we'll still got to grain them yet this evening but they got all their hay in here for right now so they'll be okay there's little man how you doing, Boomer? Hi, Boomer. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs>